guys, what's going on? It's Crazy Trucker here again. On uh, Farming Simulator 2017, it's going to be part two of a spring wheat harvest on the South Winds Acres map. Or South Wind Acres map. Hopefully this time the video looks a little better. I had my other monitor going. It's not as... I don't know if it's HD or not. Yeah, it must be. It says HDMI on the front. <clears throat> but it doesn't... It's It doesn't look as good as the one... As the monitor... As my main monitor. So hopefully this looks better. Yeah, this is the... South Wind Acres map. I'm going to try these again. The other ones. The other ones didn't work, so I uninstalled them. All right, let's get it rolling here. <clears throat> oh shit. I'm gonna go back. I gotta adjust the volume. Well, maybe I can do that in the game. Yeah, I can do that in the game, I'm sure. I gotta adjust the volume. It was too loud in my last video. Couldn't hardly hear me talk. I mean, you could, but, you know. <coughs> this loads hiccups Radio volume. Alrighty. That should be good. Alright. Alright, let's get back at it. <clears throat> Alright. Yeah, that video, I just, I don't know. Left the broadcaster on my main monitor with the better graphics in hopes that it would make the video quality a little better. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're over here. Uh, let's go get this guy going again. Oh yeah, that's better. It seems so loud. <clears throat> Cause I'm not a real loud talker, as you guys can probably tell. Or should I say? Oh, this dude. This dude looks like he's from. It's like some dude came from Columbia or something. <laughs> but anyway. Usually it's a chick. Whenever you hire somebody, usually it's a chick. Down here. <clears throat> yeah, no, it's... <clears throat> Excuse me. It's loud, this, uh... Order for 
for the <clears throat> for the header to go down automatically. I can't remember the name of the uh, it's auto auto header or something like that. I see the car once. That was, uh, I hope this is coming in a lot better uh, graphic quality for you guys. Cause that last video, the graphic quality sucked. Full too. Lagging game. Let's go, man. No, I think this one's full. Isn't it? This one might be too. No, not quite. Pretty dang close though. Yeah. <laughs> Jumping around. Yeah, let's 
this. over here since we're over here now. Slow down a little bit. Damn. I don't know if I even need to put another combine on there. <clears throat> I don't think I do. I'm just gonna park this one here and go finish that one off with that combine. Once I get <clears throat> once I get done harvesting these fields, which should, <clears throat> should take me that long. I know I ain't gonna get them done today. But uh, tomorrow I'll have them done and, and uh, I'll put up some uh, I'll be back to planting again. Some of the planting videos in there. I got that, uh, the Pro Seed, Pro Seeder mod or Pro Seed mod, whatever, for the, for when you plant. I like that. It's it's all right. I mean, for the ones that just want to plant and you know be done with it and not mess with nothing, it's, it, it it wouldn't be for them. It's not much. It's not much different. There's not much to it, but it does make it a lot more realistic. I 
that guy can turn around without hitting that truck and getting hung up on it. I can't believe how much rain is in the forecast. Just said in the last video. Next three days it's gonna rain. We're at the time on uh, real time in the game right now. So I get as much done as I can. Cause we only got one day on Wednesday where it ain't gonna rain. But I do have cro uh, crop moisture on on here, and I don't. I don't. It says it's on, but how do you check the crop moisture? I don't know how to check the crop moisture, or if there's even an option to check the crop moisture. right here crop moisture on well how do you check it anybody know or if you can I don't know oh, yeah. why is it scroll down if there's nothing there I don't make any sense all oh, the wheat uh, or all the crop economies. What the? Uh, well, that ain't worth the crap. For about half the year. Oh, I know what this is now. How it's discolored. That it shows you what week it is in the in the year. Ah, okay. That's pretty good. It tells you which, you know, what to look for. Wow. Wool is way up first week in, in summer. You'd think it'd be up in the friggin' winter time when they want to make sweaters out of it and, you know. Ah, <sighs> well. Sunflowers. For some reason, sunflowers is way up there. Surprised soybeans are so low. Usually they're high. I don't know. Well, apparently he did turn around. I wasn't paying attention. I was. Looking at that economy stuff. Wow, he's full. Yeah, that Welker Farms, that Nick Welker and all that, he does, he does a real good job on his videos and stuff, and that tractor that they restored, the 8940 uh, Case Magnum, man, that thing looked nice when they pulled that out of that shed, all spiffed up. I mean, you'd think it was a brand new tractor if it didn't have the 97, uh, uh, body style, you know. I mean, it still looked brand new. It looked really nice. They did, they did a real good job on that. I mean, after seeing it set in their shed, you know, before they even started working on it. And then, 
and then seeing it after they were done with it, it's, <laughs> it freaking looks nice. You guys should check out his videos, they're real interesting. It's a Welker Farms Incorporated. Ever since I started watching their videos, it's almost it almost feels like I know them, you know. Because he doesn't just talk about one thing, he talks about his whole life story, and you know, it's interesting. I think it'd be awesome to go out there and do some farming out there. You got massive plots of land, but oops, they ain't got crap for rain. I mean, if they got normal rain that that uh, we get around where I live here in in, in Michigan. Man, they'd make a killing out there. They'd make some huge bucks out there. It, and as dry as it is, yeah, their, their their crops are down. But they're still doing pretty god dang well, you know, for uh, for how dry their for how dry their land is. But that's because they got, you know, if they, they farm about ten. 10 to 11,000 acres. You know, it pretty much evens itself out. That's why, I'm, you know, that's why I say if it, if they get as much, if they were to get as much rain even one year or just at all as we get over here in Michigan, man, they'd be rolling in the cash <clears throat> with all that acres or with all them acres. They do pretty well. And apparently his, uh, Nick, Nick, uh, Nick Welker's wife is from Michigan. And he was talking about something. I don't remember. It was, it was by the Detroit area or something like that. Oh, she she was talking about uh, about something by uh, Royal Oak or whatever. She seems to know the area pretty well, so I wonder if that's where she's from. Which Royal Oak is? It's only like an hour north of where I live. She's like, wow, that's interesting. Mess here I made my seeds and then my uh, my fertilizer laying there on the ground. I had that one uh, Chandler mod. There's a there's a uh, what do you call it? The seed trailer. I tried using that to uh, you know fill up my cedar and my planter it didn't work out so I got rid of it and I left that mess on the ground <laughs> just park this here for now I can't believe that's still running All right. usually it shuts off when you get too far away I might get another bend for a while of this one. So the field's done. I always do that, I go too far or too fast. And then try to stop. <clears throat> Sorry, 
about that, I just need. I'm gonna go over here. Whoops. As you can see we got these soybeans right here. I'm gonna go over here and do this. This video and then and then the next video will uh more than likely it will be tomorrow. We will harvest this soybean field here and Let's see, one, two, three, four. So I got this one done, and I pretty much, we got this one done, I'm going to say. So we got two more fields. So tomorrow, I'm going to do this part now, or next. Then tomorrow, or the next video, we're going to we're gonna get that corn, and then this big uh, soybean field. And after that, we're gonna start. We're gonna start. Uh, we're gonna start seeding. You know, I planted all this with. Well, actually, no, I didn't plant all of it with one. I I planted it with with two. That green. Uh, that green planter you guys seen in the first video that was in that that was in the shed, the big shed. I planted this field with that. But I am gonna plant everything with uh with that air seeder, that red one sitting in that little shed. Because it it throws a lot more fertilizer down on it than that other one does. That other one, it lightly fertilizes it. You don't get as much fertilizer. And then you gotta go, <clears throat> then you go go over this, like, like this is the field right here. Then you go over it, and it doesn't, it, it only makes, it only puts a little more on. You know, you can check it by, uh, you can check it by going here. I mean, you can see right here. All this, I did with that planter. I, I went back over it and fertilized it all. But see how dark this one is? That's from that, uh, <clears throat> this is from that, that red air seeder, the one with the, from the big bud pack, excuse me, I gotta clear my throat, but, uh, see how dark that is, and how, you see this dark strip here, that's from that, well, I wanted to try to plant with the other one, so that's why it's so light here. Well, this right here is from the sprayer. This right here is from the weeder. So I would have to go over it a couple more times just to get it to get as dark as that. And I, I ain't doing that. So I'm just going to do everything with the with the air seeder that I have. And it'd be like this and it'd be good to go. I mean, I'm surprised it lasted that long. You know, I put, I have it set on. Fertilizer states, th three fertilizer states, and I only planted over at one time, and it lasted all year, or uh, you know, all the way till harvest. Which I don't, I don't think that's right, but you know, that's as dark as it gets. You can't really fertilize it. You mean you'd be wasting your money. So, you know, instead of wasting time and money. Might as well just do it with that cedar. Be done with it. With that air cedar. I'm thinking, you know, once the harvest is done and it's winter time and all that, I think I'm gonna go over there and, and uh, I'm gonna buy some cows. I 
give myself something to do in the winter time. Cause I'm not gonna fast forward through the winter. Just to get back to, you know, whatever. I'm just gonna wait out the six days that I got it set to. And uh, I'm gonna be doing that. So I'll get some videos of that too. Doing some dairy farming. Not much of a dairy farmer myself, but you know, it's interesting to get into something different. I mean, I grew up on a crop farm, but <laughs> I just realized I fucked that right in front of the road. <laughs> oh, I tell ya. See, no, that's not my soybean field. This one right here is. You know, I, I planted mine. I looked at the map, and everybody had theirs planted at the same time as I did. Judging by the colors of the of the crops, you know, on how, how right they are, mine were darker than everybody else's, but I don't know. <sighs> How do you put them things out, I wonder? Those are supposed to be sticking out, not in. And that's these uh, blinkers there on the side. On top of the duels there. Okay, we're gonna go over here. I'm just gonna plot this uh, header off and pull it. Get out of here with that field detection, man. I need to get rid of that. It's a pain in the butt. That is that would be the uh, uh, AI uh, extension that I'm talking about. It always wants to measure the field and yeah, whatever. That's just like uh, that's just like that combine uh, mod, the uh, auto combine for. Uh, 15, uh, Farmer Simulator 2015. That's pretty much all that is, just updated. I wonder if they actually make, I'm pretty sure they do, they actually make headers that have their own wheels on them and stuff.
Excuse me, I gotta sneeze. Alright, I'm back. Alright, let's cut it. See this right here? See those tracks in there? That's from that, uh, that Proceed mod. You can, it, it, that's what they call the tram lines or whatever. I just decided to test them out or whatever. I just got them on the headlands here. Once down there and on the headlands down there and that's it. What the hell? get this headland off. I don't know. Going up the same, if not a little bit better in the wheat. Either way, it's it's yield nice. Oh, I didn't even measure how much how much wheat I got out of that uh, out of this field here. How many times I want it? I didn't even. I don't even count how many times I dumped into that silo over there. See, there was one, two. That would have been three or four times, I think. So, maybe 160 and 160 is. That's if I got four over there. If I got four trucks out of this one, which I, I'm pretty sure I did, or at least three. Let's start way down here. Oh, never mind. 
This is the edge of that. The rest of it goes with corn. Yeah, but if I got four of them, 320,000 liters, that's a lot of wheat out of one field. <laughs> There's no way I had that much room in there. Ah, dang, sneezing. Oh, and then there's 35,671. I'll have to look and see how much I have in there. It'll tell me. Pretty sure I can't get... 300, I, I'm pretty sure I can't get over 300,000 liters on one thing, or I mean in one uh, silo. Let's check it out. <laughs> yep, yep, I was right, look it. That is crazy. 367,793. But I had, you know, take 11,000 out of that. Cause I had 11,000 weed in there before I even started putting weed in there. And this is out of both fields here, so. We're at 367, 293, minus, say 11,000. No, 11,000. That's 356,293 liters. 356,293 out of both fields. Now that's, I gotta say, that's, that's pretty good. Because the one field isn't that big. cedar there is 18 meters wide so is the one so is the green one that's in the shed here that other one that puts down fertilizer and everything which is nice I did good. I'm just gonna park it here. No, I gotta get a little closer. Here. With the combine, missed a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa! What are you doing? I guess he knows it. <laughs> I wouldn't have went about it like that, but all right. Whatever works, right? <clears throat> that ain't unrealistic. I don't know what it is. God, if he did that in real life, he'd be schmooing the shit out of the corn.
be having everything all kinds of messed up. They had that friggin' that header completely clogged. Corn stalks sticking out everywhere. By the time, if you went all the way to that end, by the time you got down there, the damn, the header would probably be laying. He'd, he'd probably end up running over the header. It would get so hard to push. Come out the other end, you won't even be able to tell he's got a header on. It looked like a bunch of corn stalks. What are you going to do now? Are you, gonna, you just going to stop right there? Oh, he's friggin' he's full already. I'm going to go pile it right into the truck since it's here. What in the hell is going on here? Oh, I ain't even to it. Never mind. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow, that's way far back. Look different when you're looking at it from a different angle. This angle looks like you're right in the middle. It's got them little windows on there. Let's go get this thing out of the road. <coughs> oh yeah, I got this to you at I could have done this the whole time instead of using them trucks, but it's more realistic to use them trucks.
knows if the mirrors work. I wouldn't mind driving in this view all the time. Sure, it actually it pulls like it. <coughs> this trailer pulls like it's got weight in it. I mean, this truck, like I said in my other video, or my video before this one, this truck is supposed to have 600 horsepower. Six hundred horsepower. Don't really act like it, but it's a nice truck, so I ain't gonna dog it for acting like that. I mean it is a logging truck that I use not for logging. But, you know, it's only logging. The logging truck has just got that rack on it, but, you know. Yeah. God, I can't believe he made it this far and he, had, and he ain't had a dump yet. <coughs> this, is, this field's a little longer than the other one. Got room yet? Yes, cruise control. Dude, it's going. Oh, I guess he's. Never mind. Here's five mile an hour. Here's right at six. So keep, I'm pulling ahead a little bit. You're empty already. Wow, didn't have that much in there. Crazy how easy on fuel these combines are. They're not really realistic at all. The tractors that I have, they actually burn the fuel. They don't burn a lot, but they burn fuel. I mean, it, it, it's, it doesn't even look like it burnt anything. Harvesting this field here and the one, the, you know, that first one. That I did my 
my video before this one. A previous video, I guess you could say. I don't know what mod I got in here. It's making it do that. I think it was that tractor mod, that, that, that black tractor. But I got two other tractor mods in there too. Got that Red Baron tractor mod. I haven't even used that yet. Red Baron uh, quad trap. Uh, that eco tune, you, you know, you can give it, uh, you can get all the horsepower out of that tractor you can, you know, in game. You know, the quad track's got 692 in game. Now, with that eco tune mod, I can give it 10% more horsepower and 20% more horsepower. At 20% more horsepower than 692, it comes out to 830 horsepower. Now that's just nuts. <laughs> 830 horsepower. Wow. For a farm tractor, that's that's outrageous. Because there's no way you'd ever need that much horsepower out of a tractor. Unless you're. Unless you're tractor pulling with it, but why would you tractor pull with a quad track? I mean, that'd be, that'd be cheap. I mean, you could have a quad track 370 horsepower don't pull anything out there. I mean, you know, only because it's four-wheel drive and it's got tracks on it. Any, any four-wheel drive tractor don't need that much horsepower. To do very good, you know, Hard to do good. I don't even use the 830 horsepower. I used to leave it at 692. It's like that's ridiculous. I mean that the big bud, the big bud uh, 747 that comes in the, the big bud pack, which is the biggest big bud ever built. The one is, that one in game comes with 1100 horsepower, which, I mean, look at the size of the tractor. I mean, it fits. It fits perfectly. I got him going now, or her, whoever it may be. Tram lines. Is he gonna make a whole round? This stuff might not be yielding as well as I thought. I'm pretty sure this this field's longer than that one. Yeah, it it looks like it. Headland down here. What else is new? We got beans that way. There's cars. They must only travel on this road. That's gay. Okay. You're funny. Let's 
jump in with this guy. Or cat yeah, guy. Quiet now. Alrighty. Yeah, we're gonna get these beans done quick and then I'm gonna call it a video. But until then, yeah, see them tram lines are goofy. All it does is short you, don't it? I think it would. I don't know why they call them tram lines or. I don't know what the hell they're called. They look like the lines that are left from from spraying, you know. But in real life, those lines are from the sprayer. Tram lines is uh, what they call them over there where the mod was made, or if that's actually what they're called, I don't know. <clears throat> I really missed the chop straw mod on this, on this map. Because that chop straw, you be able to work it in the ground and, and, and get. Uh, certain amount of uh, fertilizing for percentage. What in the heck kind of growth we got going over there with the goddamn corn? Shut it off, right? I don't know how that corn got grown in there. But that is realistic too, because you see corn popping up in friggin' other people's fields too, but not not very often. Usually the ones that take care of their fields don't have any crops that uh, But sometimes it happens. And the only thing you can do is really, really is grab it by the stalk and pull it out of the ground. Because <clears throat> if you try to like, like, like I'm throwing some beans right now, if I was to run over that in, in real life, it, you don't want corn in there with that. Probably just leave it and plow it under when they go to plow the field. Or work it under when they go to work up the field. Okay, hit the wrong button. Where's this guy? He's probably sitting down right now. Yeah. See, that's what I get for making two passes per headwind. 
Gotta make three passes for the combine. Turn around. Turn. Just gotta drive into it. Oh. Well, well. Now I gotta drive into that. Look at that, we got 80 degrees tomorrow in, in this game. It's 82 right now in this game. 80 tomorrow, 69 Monday, 68 Tuesday, 45, from 68 Tuesday to 45 Wednesday. That is some crazy temperature fluctuation if you ask me, if you ask me. And then it, and then it goes to 53, it sounds like Michigan weather. It goes down to four, from 68 to 45, and then 45 to 53, and then 36, 30. It sounds exactly like Michigan weather. So it doesn't Michigan. It's got stupid ass weather. All right, so you're down there sitting there. say Michigan weather you, just, you never know just wait just wait five minutes it'll change not necessarily temperature wise but weather wise it will be sunny and then all of a sudden be freaking tornadic and well not tornadic but you know severe thunderstorm and how are you still shitting out stuff come on now like the damn combine's got diarrhea. You know, that, I, was, I thought that, you know, that other tractor mod, you know, the, the, the one with the twin wheels on it, front and back or wide. Uh, that one of the 20th uh, anniversary paint job on it. That one, uh, I've noticed it'd be, you know, earlier today, every once in a while I'd turn around and the, the thing be shitting out the exhaust out the pipe and it ain't even running. I'd jump in it and jump back out and it's fine. Like what in the uh... heck? <clears throat> well, I guess I better. does just adjust this just the uh what do you call that I don't want to call it the spout because that sounds kind of gay um <clears throat> the nose on the auger I guess I don't know
9240 uh, combines for this game, they look pretty cool. I need to go get me one. <clears throat> one of uh, some of the mods I tested out earlier today. Some of them were those 90, 9240s, but you know, they they post the mods and they're not even done yet. I mean, they got so much wrong. There. It doesn't come all the way down here. It stops right here. Slow down, Skippy. I don't know why they don't put their their augers out when they come to like 80% so you just unload them whatever. I can't believe how quick we're getting this done. I mean the other fields too. I mean. I know they're not that big but they're not that small either. Today Junior.
maybe I could have planted another field. I didn't expect to get to get these fields done this quick. Nice. I'm gonna be going this fast without another combine though. Let's see, let's see it come up past that window. Hopefully you guys can hear me better now that I turned that volume down at the beginning of the video. I said last video. That, <laughs> graphics sucked. You know, quality. And you couldn't hardly hear me. down there. Yeah, the combine. Wow, this guy's... I need to catch this guy. No, no, no. He ain't going nowhere, dude. Nowhere. No! Stop! Look what you're making me do, dude. Look at it. Look what you're making me do. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it. You're a friggin' dweeb. You're fired. This way, and lines going that way, and looks like crap. I ain't doing that anymore. That's that comes along with that uh, pro seed, pro cedar, whatever that mod is called. It's an option though. You don't have to do them tram lines. Well, this guy wasn't even lined up with. Nothing. Apparently, jumped out of the tractor too quick and it left it right away.
Somebody should have that big field back uh, down over there. Somebody should have that done. No time. Probably like 20 minutes. But yeah, um, if you guys are new to watching my videos, if you like the video, hit that like button. And if you want to see more, more videos of Farming Simulator, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. <laughs> They're gonna end up running into each other. out of this field is what I hope. I'm only going to top off. I figured I'd get a little more in that though. Yeah. I, I'm gonna stop this combine. I don't know about that other combine. Uh, Finish it up. Must be bringing in quite a bit to keep on going. I thought he was done already. That's got to be the warmest I've seen it on this uh, season. 
Come on, 82 degrees. I've seen it 75 before, but not 82. Especially in the fall. Driving a car. Mm. Nah. Tracks kind of adjust themselves for the uh, terrain, the roughness of the terrain, I should say. Terrain. Not terrain. Now, not with it. Put it away. And you're gonna quit just like that, huh? done. Well, a good chunk of a field. Actually, it's over there. That's the first time I've ever I've ever planted two things in one field before. I 
case needs to go back to putting their uh, classic gray sheets in their machinery. Those red seats just look hideous. We'll start doing this. Instead of dinking around with that mouse. Yeah, I'll get that corn. That field almost looks like it's still got stuff in it. Little wheat field over there. But uh, I'll get that corn right here. And then that next wall, wall, wall. That's what I mean by oversteering that with this, uh, with this line. But I'll get this corn here and then that field over there on the next video. Definitely tell there's weight behind it because it doesn't want to slow down. Oh, yeah.